So he says, by faith, the elders obtain good report. How are we going to do exploit? By faith. How are we going to obtain report from God that is good? By faith. That's why the Bible says anything that is not of faith is sin. Anything that is not of faith. It's not only committing adultery or fornication that is sin. If you don't walk by faith, you commit sin. And what is faith? Believe in God. Have trust in God. It says the elders obtain good reports. Amen. I got to roll with this. I got to rush this. Amen. Verse 3. Now, look, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm taking time to do one, two, three, four today. I took time to just study. I just don't want to dive into too many things. Let me just pause and let's look at what is the writer trying to say to us. It started by saying, by defining faith from God's viewpoint. Then verse 2, he says, this faith that I have just defined in chapter 1, in verse 1, the people of old that succeeded applied this faith and God gave them a good report card. Amen. Then he came to verse 3. He begins to talk about the hall of faith. The hall of fame of faith. It started with God, the maker. It says, we understand. It says, through faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of God. So, what verse 3 is giving us is giving us the ingredient of faith. By starting it with God. It did not start with a man. It started faith oppression through God. And so the writer says, we understand that through faith that God uses his word to frame the world. Faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of the unseen. And so he started his message by saying, God introducing faith. This is how faith looks like. He framed the world through the power of his word. So that the things which are seen are made out of things not seen. Amen. The things which we do see are made out of things not seen. Faith is always before. It's not after. Faith is always before. Before anything comes to being, faith must be. Am I communicating here? Then verse 4, it begins to talk about the human element. And this is where we're going to. Verse 4. I don't want to deal with, we'll come back to that. By faith, Abel offered a more unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. By which he obtained a witness that he was righteous. And God testifying of his gift. By it, he being dead, yet speaks. That when dead things begins to speak. Because the Bible says, Abel offered. Say, Abel offered. By faith. It just baffles my mind that begins to say, God. What are you talking about? What did Abel offer? I told you we're going to go step by step. It started the hall of fame for faith by offering. By giving. It didn't start it with an act of miracle. Why will you start this journey of faith? By offering that someone offered. What qualifies that to be, to be faith? I begins to dig into this deeply and I begins to find out what was the offering that this guy offered. That his name was on the hall of fame. What was this offering that became faith? That spake even while he was dead. What was this offering that even though he was buried but his voice was never buried? He speaks even when men shut him off. What is this offering that God will count is so important? 
influenced the writer of Hebrews to say this guy must be the first all of famer. When we talk about faith, what did they do different? Genesis chapter 3, chapter 4, verse number 3. He offered the more excellent offering. 